and welcome everybody to our meteorology segment. Here at the Smash News Network, least busted name in news, we are looking at the Eastern World's jet streams. That's what's going on in the east. Here are the surface winds of this side of the planet. Here are the surface winds of the Americas. And here are the jets of this side of the planet. Doubled up jet stream over the US. And a powerful upper upper level low here over the Isle of Hispaniola. See this counterclockwise rotation. An indication of an upper level low happening there. Strong jet streams over South America. Here are the jet streams of Europe, Africa, and the Middle East. And those are the surface winds of this side of the planet. Some strong winds around the Southern Ocean, for sure. And since we showed the South, we better show the North as well. And we've got a strong low here, right over the geographic North Pole. Here's your weather.gov map for you American viewers. If your county's lit, head to weather.gov and click your county. Some excessive heat warnings in Utah. Here's your NASA GOES lightning mapper and lots of lightning here. Check out Central America and the US. Tons of lightning happening in the past about 10 hours. Here's a real-time lightning map from lightningmaps.org. Lightningmaps.org. Check it out next time you hear thunder. Heavy lightning in Russia there as well. We've got some terrestrial strikes in the U.S. Northern Mississippi and Alabama, seeing some active cells happening there. East of Memphis. Anyway, that's your active cells. And let's bring up a forecast model. This is your GFS pressure and precipitation forecast for the next 72 hours. Some extreme weather expected in Minnesota and Wisconsin. And also some compartmentalized strong storms in places like Alabama, Mississippi, and Georgia. Also, North Carolina, expecting some shenanigans from the weather front. Once again, that's your 72-hour GFS pressure and precipitation forecast. And here's where pressure cells are located. Windy.com, they've got some great features here. One of the ones you may want to check out, if you're wondering where the droughts are located, check out soil moisture. And you can see very dry conditions here over the southwestern US. Soil moisture, one of the many features that you can check out on windy.com. They've got a great mobile app you can download as well. High pressure dominating the North Atlantic. And let's continue on. Here's your radar.weather.gov map, your US Doppler radar. And 
There's what's going on in the lower 48. Here's your shortwave radiation map showing clouds and fog. And some rapid cloud nucleation happening here in the western gulf. And here's your water vapor map. You should see that corroborated here. And some moisture over Tennessee at the moment. Here's your recap. U.S. Doppler radar. Clouds and fog in the form of shortwave radiation. And there is the water vapor. That should clarify things for you. We hope you're able to forecast your own weather. little aside about me, if you're wondering how I became a weather expert, it's because of being a cyclist. If you want to be a really good cyclist, you better know what's on the other side of that mountain. And uh, being able to forecast the weather is crucial to being a pro cyclist. So that's sort of created a necessity. Although meteorological forecasting became too easy, which is how we got into the realm of space weather here at the Smash News Network, least busted name of news. Thanks for tuning in. We'll talk to you soon, and may that terrestrial wind be at your back.